Well, how y'all doing today? I hope y'all having a blessed day. Uh, it's gonna rain here today, and I'm feeling every bit of it. And uh, but uh, I have things to do today, and um, I gotta get me up to the post office and get my rent receipt and uh, pick up some things at Kroger's. And I was talking to uh, a neighbor uh, of mine. Now, she's from Bangladesh, and her mother was staying with her, and she's gone back to India. And uh, we were talking. Sometimes we talk. And I told her I had to head out this morning and asked her if she wanted to ride along with me. I'm about to call for a lift. And uh, she don't have a car either. So I said, well, you're welcome to ride along with me and do some shopping. Maybe we'll have a great day together. So I'm about to go over and peck on her door. Uh, prayers going out to Pepper Dale. Um, there was an accident uh, in front of his house that took down a power pole last night. And uh, he's up in Pennsylvania. And it's still cold there, people. It really is. And he was worried that he wouldn't have any heat, you know, for a while. No power. But I know Prepper Dale somewhat. And I know he's he's very prepared. Uh, but I wish he would come back and let us all know, you know, <laughs> uh, how it went. And I prayed nobody was hurt in that accident. But uh, you just don't shear off a, a power pole and uh, there not be any damage. I'll put it to you that way. Uh, they make them collapsible these days. They they ain't like the other ones that were coated down with creosol. Although he is out in the woods, so uh, probably a lot of them older telephone power poles still exist out that way so I'm hoping nobody was hurt there and I'm also uh, hoping that he gets back to everybody and, and lets them know that you know he's doing all right now um I made a video here I mean I haven't been feeling well and I just had to get a video out there where I made uh scrambled eggs with cheddar cheese and mozzarella cheese on um pumpkin nickel toast and I've been getting a troll. And their name is Luke. And, uh, you know, they, they use some harsh language, which happens, you know. I can understand that. But they had the nerve to ask me if I know how to cook. Now, I just get this mental image of this person sitting up in a college dorm somewhere living on uh, a piece of pizza pockets. Okay, <laughs> ramen. Uh... Not that there's anything wrong with those, but, um, uh, well, I'm just going to have to contact the lady. I follow her channel. Her name is Bootsy on the Beat. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to tell. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to let her know I got a troll because she's got a hater hotline. And when somebody's hating on you, uh, she'll set up a hotline. Uh, so I'm I'm going to contact Bootsy on the beat and let her know that I got somebody hating on me. And it bothers me. I, it shouldn't. People tell me I shouldn't let it bother me because it happens all the time. But I don't do nothing to nobody. And uh, I just think it's so unfair. So I'm going to tell. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna put Bootsy on you. <laughs> now she, uh, you should check her out, Bootsy on the beat. She has um, a very diversified channel. Uh, she does some crafts, and uh, she previews a lot of um, Ipsy boxes, uh, cosmetic boxes, and um, she has uh, Mass Mondays uh, every Monday that she can. Um, her and her husband will get together and do it, and I think that's a fine thing. So anyway, um, I'm about to have me a busy day. Uh, but being busy, you know, there's good busy. I'm going to have a good busy. So, and, but, and there's a bad busy. And it's always better to have a good busy. So I'm about to go knock on my neighbor's door and find out she still wants to go. And um, we may be going in the rain, but we're going. All right. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Oh, and Doc Inc.? Yeah. Yeah, Karma was going to get back to you on that road rage. <laughs> yeah, That woman throwing that, that cup of coffee at your car and flipping you the bird. Yeah, that's called Karma, honey. 
<laughs> Behave yourself. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.